was in Sydney in 2000 uh, when athletes with intellectual disabilities were actually removed from Paralympic competition because of a cheating episode. Um, we've had to do a lot of work in terms of really establishing that people are eligible to compete. So London 2012 is the first time since Sydney that people with intellectual disabilities will be competing at such a world stage. So I think this is going to be a real opportunity for athletes with intellectual disabilities to showcase their level of ability and their discipline and the amount of work that they've put into competition to get to this stage. And I think it's going to be really interesting for people to see people with intellectual disabilities compete at such a world level. I could have gone to Athens when I was like 18 and I could have gone to Beijing when I was 22. So at least I got a chance to go to like London when I'm thought I'll be 26 for London. So. That would be great to run in London. I feel good about learning difficulties, taking part in Paralympics, uh, just just to show how we do around the world, to show people around the world like how talented we are. The big dream is London 2012 Paralympics for me. That's my dream. Being included back in the in the Paralympics for, for our athletes is, is a very important step. I mean, they, they, they get to this step, which is international competition at highness level. Paralympics is the one level above that. So clearly anybody in sport always aspires to be the best and get to the top. And obviously the Paralympics for a disabled athlete is, is the top. So it's very important. Eligibility and classification is very important. Eligibility is all about being able to demonstrate that you actually have the impairment or the disability that you say you have. So you can compete in that class, in this case, intellectual disabilities. How we manage that is we actually ask for a portfolio of evidence about each athlete to demonstrate that they have been assessed by a qualified person and that they have all the requirements that you need to actually meet the diagnosis of intellectual disabilities. That includes three things. One is an impaired intellectual IQ. The second is impairment in adaptive functioning, which is your ability to socialise, domestic skills, communicate. And the third is that this is disabilities occurred before the age of 18. We ask for the dossier of information. We evaluate that evidence and if they meet that criteria then they are eligible to be on the master list for the INS Games and in effect the Paralympics. Classification, what we need to be able to demonstrate there is that the impairment has an impact on the performance of the sport. So it's very sports specific. So what we need to demonstrate for table tennis will be different for say running. And how we do it is we have a number of components. The first component is looking at some intellectual skills, some cognitive skills that everybody needs if you're going to compete at sport at a high level. So things like reaction time or pattern recognition we'll be testing. And we do that via a touch screen computer. The second series of tests that we will do are very specific to the sport. And they're more technical tests. So say for athletics or uh, 1500 metres, we'd be asking the athlete to do a test of pacing. Or for table tennis, we'd be asking the athlete to be able to demonstrate certain types of serve or to be able to respond to a number of serves from another player in a certain way. And then the third component is we will always observe people in competition or on track. It's, it's worth it if you go through a test because you go around the world and compete against like good athletes and meet like new people around the world and get the highest level like the Paralympics in London or Brazil for years time. Well, it's not obvious to the public when um, people with a learning disability are competing what their disability is. 
Um, you can see a physical disability, but you can't see a, um, a disability which is a learning disability. Um, so I think the public will, it will take the public a while to understand that there is a learning disability, a physical disability, and that they're all part of the main uh, umbrella of people with a disability. I know some people think it don't affect your performance, that a learning disability don't affect your performance, but it does affect you with like gun ordination and uh, like how you pace the race. Because like, some people go off really fast and like can't and then slow down. This year we've only got swimming, athletics and table tennis, uh, there's only three sports. And in my sport, athletics, there is only three events, uh, 1500 metres, shot put and long jump. So uh, from here, I would hope, that uh, it goes from strength to strength and more and more events are put into the, the next and subsequent Paralympics so more and more people with learning disability can take part in, the, in those games. The influence of the London 2012 Games really can't be overstated. I think we're already seeing it now. Young athletes building on the inspiration of the Games, um, seeing that there is a platform and a pathway for them to the ultimate sporting opportunity, which is the Paralympic Games. I think beyond 2012 as well, we're talking about cultural change towards disability sport but specifically seeing athletes with intellectual disability on the world stage means that they're, they're in their rightful place and we hope that it will inspire athletes of the future. We also hope that it will allow us to build on the programme that's already there and it will see investment in athletes, it will see governing bodies recognising and working with athletes. So it's a bright future for intellectual disability sport. It means they've got something to strive for now. They can actually compete at that very top level, which is what they wanted to do for a long time. It will like encourage for people with learning difficulties to try out like either athletics, table tennis, whether sport they interest in makes them motivated to see me like see me and other learning difficulties athletes on telly. It will, will uh, we look at ourselves, our role models to them. Some people just take like learning disabilities the wrong way and they don't treat them like normal people and it would be good to see them treat people like the way they wanted to be treated, like everybody else and the Par Paralympics, Paralympics will make a difference to everyone on watching it. It's great that athletes can compete now into the Paralympic Games with the learning disability. Get more recognition for LD category. I think it will be more recognised in London because we've got like great uh, athletes. I'd like to come back with a gold medal. If, if I get to the Paralympics, I'd like to at least get into the top, top heats here and run against the best runners in the world. That's a good achievement for me.